more than most people when he calls out the weird absurdity of the media. <clears throat> but when Trump's sycophants attack Joe, he just immediately backs away and says, guys, you're not Look at these, these guys, guys, man. Ah. <sighs> Let do them play time. Let them do play time. Get them. Get them, Alpha. Get them, Omega. Boy, these two little guys, they got such big personalities. Their legs are still like little spaghetti noodles buckling and folding. Most people don't even realize when a dog is this young and months to come, their uh, joints haven't even fully grown together. That's why they're like little, little rubber balls. <clears throat> Look at him. <laughs> Alpha grabbing his ear. This is our little boy here that we're planning on keeping. Alpha. He's just a little shorter in his back. Which is what we want. And who knows? I mean, these guys, you know, typically with body structure, if one's shorter in the back than the other, that typically stays the same. As far as I, I know and understand. Like with the muzzle, say his muzzle's shorter than his. Now that's typically going to stay the same. Now, as far as, you know, head size and weight, you know, <clears throat> Omega here right now has got a bigger head. He's just a bigger dog. But at the end of the day, um, Alpha, when they fully develop, Alpha's head might be bigger. Um, so there are some things that tend to stay the same, and there are things that tend to change. Like, for instance, almost every puppy is going to have a nice clean scissor bite when they're born. It's just, it looks like it's going to line up. You know, my very first litter, that was one thing that I was wanting to change in my female, uh, Devo. She had just a little bit more of an underbite, an undershot than I wanted for my dogs. And when her puppies were born, every single one of those puppies had a perfect clean bite. I looked so good. I was like, yay, we fixed it. But guess what? F, 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 F. But guess what? When those puppies got older, they uh, developed an underbite just like their mama. Not as bad. It did improve. But it definitely... Oh, buddy. It, it definitely uh, became more of an underbite as they grew. So, there are things that change and there are things that don't change. And um, the more you breed for consistency and the more you breed um, your bloodline, you will know the traits that will be thrown. You will know the traits that you can expect to see from your stud um, and from your female. Most people don't realize that your female has a huge role to play. She has a lot of DNA information that she passes along to the puppies. So don't just pay attention to the stud, you guys. You need to be looking at them females. We are building our program. This is going to be our first male um, that uh, we're, we're, we're keeping to use potentially for our program. And you know what? This guy, he might get to a year old, and I might not like the way he looks. And unfortunately, I might have to place him with a loving family, which sucks because I... Oh, what, buddy? What? I love you. Which sucks because I I really I don't know if I'm if you guys can see the dogs or if you just see my big fat Italian nose, but I grow attached to these guys big time and it's really hard for me to let these guys go. Get that big old Dago nose, huh? Yeah, love you guys. All right, we're gonna let y'all go. I just want to do a little quick little play time. Show you. Show you all these guys walking around and barking and their personalities are starting to come out. Oh, buddy, it's okay. All right, I'm going to spend some time with my puppies. Pray y'all are having a wonderful day. Deuces.